All right, what up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to the A2 Local Podcast. We will be podding. Um, pods will drop on Wednesday and um, Friday. Uh, fr- Friday or Saturday will uh, will be when we drop something it. Something like that. Yeah, something. Yeah, yo, just know we do in two a week, <laughs> yeah, man. Two but we a week, do, yeah. Two a week. So we're going to get right into it um, with the first one. Uh, the Spurs. No, not even Spurs. No, we're going to talk about um, Migos. So, shoot, you. shoot. RIP takeoff, man. Yeah. That's, some, that's some unfortunate shit. You, you know, you know. Um, I bet you if you go down Twitter, they're gonna be like, oh, "I'm happy it wasn't any of the other guys." Nah, I think Takeoff the best one. I, I started liking Takeoff recently, Bro, though. I think Takeoff will probably was Takeoff like take, bars and like the way the I, I music like Takeoff, but he he had the lead. remember when everybody was like, he, you know, I, I read it on the bro, New York he Times, was the one that did the <laughs> like he was that was him, like that yeah, was, bro, that was the Migo sound for a little bit. A if big, you really okay. think about it, <laughs> you really if you really ponder. Hey man, rest in peace though. But I seen that um. They said, you remember when him and Joe Button and uh, they got that incident? Yeah, I know, yeah, DJ, with DJ when they said, Academic. Yeah, no, no, it, it wasn't DJ No, it was it Joe was Button. A, yeah, it was, it was Joe Button. Was, yeah, but DJ Academic just sat there. What, what was that show? What was that I, show? I don't know what the show, uh, off the record. No, that's his, oh, that's the what podcast. The, what was like, that show? I don't remember what the show w- uh, was called. But undisputed. I, no, it wasn't undisputed. Nah, <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm thinking this shit. Yeah, you What was that? I, I don't remember. I, I don't used to care. watch it. How do I just? It's just a blank. It was that bad. It's just a I blank mean, in my head. I can't remember, but uh, uh it, it'll hit me. But all I remember was the fact that Joe Button. Uh, they, they were saying um, like Joe Button didn't even like from the beginning of the interview that they didn't even he didn't even want to be there. Like he was just like, oh, you yeah, know, no, like, he didn't. Joe Button wanted to leave, and then he and he was like, um, he said, take off. Weren't you left off bad and bougie? He said, did it look like I was taking off bad and bougie? And then I was reading the New York Times, and even Takeoff said that he was on there, which I don't even remember. And then uh, even on New York Times, they said he was le- left off in Bad and Bougie was one of the. I, really, I can't even remember that. Either. I don't even remember. But what the I, fuck was uh, the name uh, of the show, bro? Oh man, we can't. We turn out the cuss. Oh yeah. Now nah, you good? You good? Don't worry about it. But um, <laughs> uh, what was it though? I, I don't. I don't remember. You just let let the show go. It don't even matter. But no, because uh, this is like really, <coughs> it's really bothering my my psyche right right now. Because. It was Joe Budden, yeah, the DJ, desk, uh, D- DJ Act, yeah. yeah. It don't matter. We got to proceed with the show. Yeah, yeah. but no, yeah. Man, it, it'll hit me. That Here, was that was. Why don't yeah you explain it and I'll, I'll get it so it won't stop bothering you. Allegedly, really, from it was it was just like a, a dice game went wrong and uh, was that a bowling alley? Yeah, a bowling alley. I guess like a what? bowling alley bar type type type. Uh, <sighs> some it was supposed to be closed at one. That's mm-hmm. all I know. But uh, all I heard was one of his homies, his own friend, like people shot him. Well, like, I, it was a stray. Allegedly, it was like they was the ones the that you know got aggressive first, and he was just like calling the crossfire, really. So his his crew got aggressive, and then I mean, you got what I don't understand is why when rappers get all this money, they still do. They like, still want to be in the hood. Like that? Yeah, like I never understood that. Like, like you know, you can leave. I wouldn't be playing dice if I'm rich. I'm not I'm shooting. I don't. I don't need to shoot dice. I remember I played dice in college. I lost damn near half my money. Right, <laughs> dude. I know, played dice. <laughs> I think my money just got taken. I oh, know what I yeah, doing. but I, you know I was drunk <laughs> and I lost my money. But then I had a dollar left, bro. This is my dollar. I went back and I gained all my money back off this dude, off of one dollar. And I was like, I'm never. And I bought a computer, but I was like, I'm never <laughs> doing this again, ever, because I felt like the scum of the earth. But. It's like they don't, they don't, they don't need, they don't need to play dice no more. Like you could stop doing hood rat shit with your friends once you make it, bro. Poker, go to the the, the poker league or something. I don't yeah, know. like you have money. <laughs> you know what? I feel like when you're a rapper and you go back down, it's like yeah, I'm I'm still st- I'm still hood. Like yeah, you know I'm still. And then plus you got all the out. money. Give me out. Give no, me out as but, soon as possible. <laughs> shit. Yeah, man. But rest in peace to him. Like he. And, it's, and just, it, it's just <coughs> unfortunate because it's like he wasn't even the one in the in the yeah, mix. Yeah, the, the girl was behind him. I mean, it was either him or her. If he if he wasn't there, she would have caught the stray. She said I was right behind him. That girl on Twitter who posted that uh, the uh, the stuff that happened. Yeah, but know. that's just man, that's crazy. Well, how how did like why would you shoot behind people? What I have think? no what idea. You think you gonna hit in between the corner, the crack, the crevice? I don't know, bro. This is why I I don't mess with people that are too like I'm from the hood. All right, I'm out of here. You can't be my friend. I don't do that no more. All that is you got money. It makes no sense. You don't need to die. And I feel bad that he passed. But if that's not like a life lesson, it's like even when you pop smoke, like everybody wants to stay hood bro. even after you make it, right? Or it's just, like or just just chill out on like trying yeah. to portray like a tough image with it. 
Yeah. Like you could be hood, but you ain't gotta be like You don't the, gotta be like, you ain't bro, gotta be the pop off guy. Like you ain't gotta be the Yeah, you gotta you, be the jump you, off. You, you ain't gotta be the ain't nobody gonna rob me guy. You ain't gotta say that. You ain't no, gotta put that out, know, out, it, out in the in, yeah. in the air. And then when you say <laughs> when you say stuff like that, it makes those there there are real there are some people out there that are like, I'm gonna test this guy. Oh, no, there are ca- career criminals. <laughs> <laughs> That is their purpose. Career criminal. It's their purpose to test this. Yeah, and <laughs> and and they know that if they try you, they're 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 only they gonna win. Gonna go back to jail. Like I'm well, they're to jail. they're gonna win if they get away. They're they, gonna, they, they, yeah, they, they, get they away, got they your win. ice. Yeah, and then even if they get caught, they're gonna make the news and they're gonna blow up off of it. And they already cool. With being so in jail. it's a yeah, and their their life are already shitty. So it's a it's a win win situation for them. It's a lose lose for you. So just don't put yourself in those predicaments. But Rappers, they don't care. There's, there's right. no logic. I'm going to Maui. But the black community is broken, bro. Dude, when I'm it comes about to, to about to be in a helicopter in Maui. I don't even go. I don't even touch the land. I'm not even going to Black Twitter. I don't. <laughs> I don't even check in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even check in. You won't even check, bro, because <laughs> check in places. <laughs> yeah, no Isn't that crazy, bro? Isn't that crazy? Like you gotta check in when you come to my hood. I don't want to go there. Nah, bro. I'm not going to the hood. I'm at Barnes and Noble with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't know how to read. <laughs> they not. That's the last place they would go looking for stuff. Barnes and Noble with it for real, bro. It, it was crazy because I um I seen this um this stat that says like one in three Americans can't read. There there are no. It's it's like a hundred. There are one hundred fifty Americans that cannot read. One hundred fifty that can't even read like a prescription. One hundred fifty. Like one hundred fifty million. Oh, oh, I that cannot like read. No, fifty. No, that's total a small in the whole country. That's no, not that, bad. That, that's, yeah, exactly. I was like, our, our literary rate is freaking high. <laughs> nah, it's good. pretty damn low, bro. And when I when I thought about that, I was like, damn, dude, like that is one of the. Shit. I mean, I've met people that can't read. It's yeah, some, it's yeah. Well, I know shit. a couple of our friends that can't read. I just be like, God damn, bro. bro. I mean, we're not gonna call them out, but damn. Nah, nah. Some people just that's read. rough. There's some people just read well in their head. No, I ain't, ain't none of that. The so, voice in their head is a lot louder than their their voice outside. You know? <laughs> I wonder if that's why like they don't be having like, um, they don't be posting on Facebook. They'll be because <laughs> they can't read. Your friends and never post. He's he like, bro, why don't you ever post? I don't care right. about social media. You that can't read it right. Huh? You can't read it right. You're illiterate. That's that's the real that's the real problem. That's man. why you don't post. Oh, that's why you just be dropping likes, huh? Hey, okay. check on your illiterate friends, man. If you nah. see, if you got a homie that added you seven seven years ago, you never seen him post. Check on him, man. Give him uh, a library card. Hey, uh, all right, <laughs> man. We're gonna go into the next topic. We got um, uh, San Antonio Spurs are waving uh, Josh Primo. Um, so what people are saying or females have came out and said uh he primo was, is primo huh yeah he's, he's prima donna he, nah he's exposing himself uh he got that primo huh yeah bro i don't <laughs> he got that prime, prime back <laughs> <laughs> he bro, amazon prime with it bro he exposing himself man yo yo we can't be laughing at situation like this because there are women out. i mean it is funny it's it, no it's stupid it, it's crazy because you got all this money and he what they just drafted him he like can't was just it? get a webcam and omegle and expose himself to the bro way? he's I, I don't know bro he has money you don't even need to expose yourself to girls that don't want to see it like bro, nigga, chat roulette all he gotta do <laughs> is just be in his locker room with that bro. he did not have to do it in real life no man, I, I, I i've been on omegle bro and i was like yo what's on me the first time and then but it's just dicks, dicks. I lied, Ukrainian bro. dick, Slovenian yeah, dick, I was like, Serbian. I'm out of here. I'm yeah, like, dude, why are they all from Eastern Europe? Yeah, I seen one dick, I was gone. I said, this ain't it for me. <laughs> no, nah, I was like, uh, maybe I will see one set of titties for every nah, 23 dicks. Nah, nah that ratio is. Nah, cool, I, I seen one girl and she was masturbating. It was like a slot machine, really. Yeah, it was, it was dick. Like, yeah, yeah. Dick. I think what you're supposed to do is, is instead of typing girls, because all the guys are typing the same thing, so you got to be like uh, penguins. You, you got to no, you got to say men. And then because that's what the girls are looking for. So then you'll match up with the girls. Because the guys, we're all looking. Guys are probably in there like big boobs, big ass. So you're going to get matched up with other guys. Because you're same search terms. So you got to search what the girls are searching to meet up with the girls. Mm. There you go. I didn't even know you could search. I was just hitting <coughs> random. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no, bro. I searched females. This yeah, was Primo, years that's all he had to do? Yeah, but he, he was tripping though, man. It's like, I don't get it. You have money. Like, you could just get an escort. You could you could spend five hundred. Man, that don't mean he not frugal. <laughs> he trying to get the free. <laughs> he ruined his life. The Spurs let him go. Bro, what's up with these Texas boys? We got Deshaun Watson. And they Houston. let him go, but 
We I got Primo in San Antonio. They down the road from each other. Just got just they. they I have no idea, bro. They, they, they got women scarred, bro. Is it? Well, he he was picked. He was number twelve in the draft. But I and then um I knew he did it because uh, he said uh, this was a statement on ESPN. I know that you all are surprised by today's announcement. I've been seeking help to deal with previous trauma I suffered, and I will now take this time to focus on my mental health treatment for uh, more fully. I hope to be able to d- uh, discuss these issues in the future so I can help others who have suffered in a similar way. I appreciate privacy at this time, right? So if you're saying that when these girls are supposed to come up, I'm pretty sure the Spurs, and he was only averaging like seven points over like 19 minutes. Well, he's so, a rookie, yes. That's yeah, decent. yeah, yeah. No, no, it's decent. But if he was dropping like 30, 40 points... Come on, bro. The story wouldn't even see light. Story wouldn't even see the light of day. Hey, hey, this, if he was, yeah. if he was hooping, hooping, hey, this you story would have <laughs> got settled at Rainforest Cafe <laughs> on the San Antonio Riverwalk. You really <laughs> think if he was hooping, hooping, he wouldn't have to say this statement? The Spurs were like, "What did they do?" Nah, it was them. Nah, bro. Yeah, they, they would have paid them off a long time ago. Oh, if he bro, was balling, balling. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't. It's just like Kyrie when he had that um. That statement, uh, what was that movie called that that he was? From Hebrews to Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch that tonight, by the way. Hey, but give it a look, man. You're going to be like, wow. Okay. Wait, you watch it? No, I haven't watched it. So <laughs> <laughs> you made it seem like it. But I, I'm going to watch it to see like what they're talking about. Because I've always been hearing that black people were the, like, um, the first Jews and all that. And I would always assume that it would be people who look more Middle Eastern just because it's not part of the the world. But, you know. It's like, what is the Middle East, though? Africa? Yeah, it's a part of it. So, yeah, <laughs> they black just, people came They be. just said Africa is the Middle East. That's it could all, be. all they did was change the name. It could be, bro. Like, there there are some, yeah, there are some black <laughs> there are some black people out there, man, in the Middle East. But they be hiding it's, them. It's, it's just Africa, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this is Africa, Asia, and Europe. There ain't yep. no Middle East. No, nah, but well, where Jerusalem and Israel is, all that it's Africa, ain't it? No, it, it, technically, uh, it's close by, but it's not in Africa. It's like you know, so th- Africa, there's. I think there's the Black Sea, does, and then all does that Africa stuff. stop at Egypt. Um, yeah, like around there, like th- that's where I'm like, pretty sure Sudan, Pakistan, and all that. Well, well no, it's, not, it's, not, not it's not in Pal- Africa. Palestine that's all like all that. Asia and all that stuff. Bro, I'm pretty sure it's like right across. Look at the map. No, look it at is. The map. Wait, so wait, what are we looking? Look at, at um, Egypt and look at how close uh, no, e- Jerusalem you know, and no, all that is to yeah. it. Uh, where, it's like okay. it's. This is like Palestine and all that. Like Palestine, Israel, all that stuff. It's not connected to Africa. It's like on the other side. Bro, the, it's like the Black Sea. Look at the map. Just okay. look at the map, man. Uh, let's see where. Oh, let's uh, look at the map too. Israel. Yeah, see, it's on the other side. On the it's other it's side on the other of side. what? It's 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 in like Asia. Like there, there's the Black Sea. There's like yeah. yeah. It it looks like it's all in Africa. No, it's it's not a part of Africa. I don't know that that shit look like Africa to me. No, it's not. It's not though. That's where if you look I see up, Egypt, I see Jordan, Lebanon, no. Syria. It's on the other side. You so, know. so where does Asia start? Uh, on the other side of that horn of Africa, like where there's that giant horn, it goes on the like the Black Sea. So that's, that's not what, the Horn of Africa, ain't that what it was called? No, the, where the <laughs> horn is on the opposite side of the Black Sea. I'm pretty sure that's the Black Sea. That's where like all that Asia starts beginning and uh, the, the Middle sea East is in between. Yeah, Africa and all that Asia stuff. That's where that goes off, like the the Europe and all that other stuff goes over there. Oh, I hear her. She's nah, upset. Bro. The Black Sea is like the Ukraine and Russia and all that. The other sea is the Caspian Sea. Yeah, yeah. Then it's the Ca- yeah, it's the Caspian Sea. I knew it was one of them. That shit, Africa. Yeah, no, no. It's <laughs> it's the Red Sea. There it is. It's so it's my bad. I, I apologize. Yeah, it's a. It, I was wrong by the Black Sea. It's the Red Sea that that separates it. Then you see Saudi Arabia. Like it's a Red Sea. That's what I meant. But all that stuff in Iraq, and then it goes into the Kazakhstan, and the stands start coming. But yeah, that, <laughs> the stands come yeah, marching that's in. Where, that's it. But um, man, now you done. I don't know. Geography. I just didn't know. I, I that's the Red Sea, not the Black Sea. I knew it was well, something with a color. They, they just red, black, blue. Yeah, it don't matter. We got the I'm blue pretty, sea. Imagine if they called it the Black Sea because it's touching Africa. You bunch of racists. Oh shit! But instead, it's the red. Oh, never mind. <laughs> maybe that's why I was like, maybe I'm racist. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, that's the sea that Moses split, right? Yeah, because he parted the Red Sea. Yeah, to yeah. go from Africa to Africa. Huh. Uh, is it Africa? No. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Saudi Arabia? I don't that think I it's do. part of Africa. 
That's because they, they made up the term Middle East. It was Africa at first. I'm pretty sure, bro. Watch. Could have been. I don't know. But now. Let's so let's look at a dictionary from or like a map from what? You're going gonna, you gonna, you gonna to have to bring this next 1937. You're going to have to. Shit was Africa. Then you're going to be like, we're going to go to Pangea when it was all connected. Right? <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> <clears throat> So wait, what were, what were we just talking about? We were talking about some bullshit. No, 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 no. We were talking about uh, um, prim, uh, Joshua yeah, Primo, primo. Right? <laughs> But then how did we <laughs> segue into Africa, bro? <laughs> we segue so far, we lost our position. Wait, what? what whoa. All right, whoa. man. Since since I'm I'm even on Twitter right now. Uh, well, no, we'll, we'll stay on Primo just because. Hopefully, he's all right because that's not something that a young man should be doing. He's 19 years old. You know, I mean, I guess that is 19 year old shenanigans, but I never like thought I'm going to expose myself. Shoot. Allegedly, Peyton Manning, <clears throat> then he wiped his ass with, with uh, the trainer's face. Yeah, but he didn't expose himself and he has and, and he's Peyton Manning. Yeah, but to, but to, Joshua to, Primo has no name to, yet. Like, he's, you're a rookie. To allegedly wipe your ass with someone's yeah. face. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> Peyton, yo, you the good for them. No, nah, but Peyton's Peyton, funny. though, like he has a name. Joshua Primo doesn't. The organization he did that at Tennessee, though, allegedly. But yeah, but he was cold. All right, yeah. Like he was like, if when you're cold, there's more people will be he like, I'll put up with the BS. White. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, people will put up with more of your shit if you're like good at what you do. You got to be like top of the bra- like just like how um uh Tom Brady right now he's sucking right. Yeah, yeah, he's doing pretty so, bad. So but now his narrative is completely just tarnished. No, it's not like, his whole uh, legacy, but they're going to put up with it for a little bit before they let him go just because he's Tom Brady. He's the greatest quarterback, so they're going to be like, all right, we're going to, you know, they have to. You you just, you, I mean. He should have told his wife, like, yo, just let me see if I'm going to be good this year, and if I'm not good, like, I'm done. Bro, I don't think he wanted to be with her at all. Like, when a, when a man he doesn't even, like, put up, a, like, a fight or whatever, you could just tell, like, he doesn't care. He Bro, he doesn't look like he cares. He said ball is life. Bro, he doesn't even spend time with his balls kids. in the locker room. Bro, he doesn't even spend time with his kids. Bro, <laughs> Super, supermodel wife, but let me go hang out with the bros over here. I don't, bro, all right, Tom. Every man gets tired of being with the same girl after a while. Right. A lot of those rich dudes, because they right, got money. To- Tomas. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, his wife has $400 million, And but, but every, everybody Super Bowl rings, right? Yeah, yeah but everybody's speculating that uh, she might be broke if she bought a small house that's like $1.5 million. And Maybe I mean, not that she broke. Yeah, that's what I'm house. saying. But she got it in Miami, so she gonna be close to Doctor Miami. She about to be surgeried up. Watch. She about to you be think right so? Here. You think she about to come back caked up? Bro, she La about to, <laughs> She about to have only bro, hands and some watch. But but you you would nah. She too rich for that. I, I think yeah no nah, bro, women that do OnlyFans bro. Nah, you know what? <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, bro. It's it's like you know what? But get money, get money however you want to, because that's that's your own body. Yeah, it ain't like, my body. Look, the money, don't, the money only gonna look at you back. You know. It's only yeah, but eventually, when your kids grow, they're gonna look at you crazy. But what it is, it is what it is. So yesterday, I went to the um, you get bullied in school. <laughs> what, what what's the means, bro? I seen your mama titties for three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> bro, there there was this kid that um. That damn near committed suicide because his mom was on OnlyFans and his friends said, "Oh, I see your mom." They were showing him videos of mom was getting plowed. Oh, that's trauma. That was yeah, traumatizing. Yeah, shit. you see your mom and then your homies are seeing it. I don't even know how I would deal with that, bro. And then his mom comes in and she's like, "It doesn't matter. Why do you care?" And then his like, mom's like, "You don't like, know the torment this guy's yeah, going through." Yeah, but and then she's like, like laughing about it, like, "Oh, you're just being weak." I'm like, "Oh, your mama, uh, uh, HOE." She don't even care. She like the Birkin bag, <laughs> <laughs> bro. It, it's it's so disappointing. Sorry, son, you gotta live with that, <laughs> bro. I feel like the agenda is being pushed right now, where they're trying to get kids to get like. I don't even know if if is it's it an just agenda. Grow up to, fast? No, just, like, just like uh, to be transgender, like to. It's like you're saying, well, kids should have a choice. No, they shouldn't. Like, if my daughter wants a bunch of candy, because just because she's crying for it, you think I'm going to give her that candy? She's a kid. She doesn't know what she wants. Shit. She doesn't know what she wants. So when they're like, oh, you know, you can give them these pills, and a lot of these people, they can't undo, get, get you know, getting your body part chopped off. Like, if you, if you want to be a girl or whatever, like, I feel like guys don't really care when you see females, you know, switching, getting their sex changed, but women get upset when guys, you know, get their, um, the, the sex change and then they become women they start dominating females in all these sports it is a big issue <clears throat> like i don't care if you want to um get your you know 
your change, you want to get a sex change, or whatever. By all means, dude, go do it. But once you start saying I'm a woman, no, you're not. You're not, bro. You're physically you're strong as hell. Hmm. When, you, when you get aggressive, I know that's a man. I see your Adam's apple. Right. You can you can grab my throat. And yeah. Crush my hand. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, bro. It's when <laughs> <Doing> squeeze. <laughs> and it's crazy because it's like it's like why why are we going along with this this agenda like like it's okay it's not okay. Uh, nah, morals been out the window a long time. Ago. A long time, bro. Society is gonna go haywire because there's a lot of people coming forward now that already got the operation, and they're like, "I wish I wouldn't have done. It. I wish I would have." Like, wait until you're 21 until you can make, uh, or not even 21, like 25, 26, 27, where your prefrontal cortex is finally, like, what developed. Is it? Emotion over logic. That's uh, that's where we had. I don't know, bro. They're letting kids decide that I'm this, I'm that, and then you already know, like, if there's a group of guys. And one of them was like, hey, bro, you know, I, I feel like a girl or whatever. And then his buddy's like, I think I do, too. And then it just spreads like a, like a virus. And then all of them like, well, I'm a female today, too. What's the, the, have you seen the um, the MMA fighter that's a drag queen? What? He's like an MMA fighter, <laughs> but he does drag. Nah, bro. But, I mean, well, there's nothing wrong with doing drag. But, but he's straight. Wait, what? He's an MMA fighter that does drag, but he's straight. Maybe he just wants attention. I feel like no, a lot no, of no. He just likes to dress up like a woman and look nice and go dance. It's just like hard out. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Let him do his thing. It's funny to me. But he'll beat your ass. Yeah, he'll kick my ass 100%. <laughs> Probably would. Hey, that's a... Man, I seen that. I was like, that's some funny shit, man. You, can, you, you just got to sit there like, I don't want to be here, but I can't <laughs> say nothing. <laughs> hey, man. Bro, it, it's crazy to me because it doesn't bother me. Where people like if you're a grown consenting adult that can make a conscious decision, say, Hey, this is what I want to do for myself, by all means, go do it. But stop trying to push it on the kids, stop trying to push it into school, into books, trying to like change kids' minds when they're so young for them to get these sex changes. And then now you got kids that are 15, 16 saying, Oh man, like I, I made a bad decision. Of course you did. But I can't believe your parents to, let you do that. To me, there's some kids you could tell though. I don't know. Nah, bro. It, it, a child can't make a conscious decision when or, they're young. Or maybe something <clears throat> happened to them a long time ago to where they be showing the, the, the symptoms early. Nah, bro. It, no. Because remember when you were a kid what you wanted to do and what you wanted to be? Look at you now. I wanted to eat dirt. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right? But if you would have had your way, you would have ate dirt. I did eat dirt. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dirty. <laughs> no, just, but, but, but you see, <laughs> but as a kid, like, you do dumb stuff. Like, my daughter wants to put her hands in stoves. <laughs> so I got to be over there. It's it's not, like, if she's crying for to put her hand in the stove, she's, like, dying. Like, and I'm like, you can't do that. Like, dude, what the? F right? She, like she wanted to see what was in there. We weren't looking. She went and put her hand in there, burn herself. She never did it again. Right? But I should have, I wasn't going to let her just do it. She's a ch child. She can't, she doesn't know what she's doing. She had to learn the hard way, though. Yeah, she found out. She never do it again. To, hey, you just learn the hard way and live a yeah, life. You're going to chop it off. <laughs> and then and then now, like a lot of those people that, you know, that mutilated their bodies, that they're coming forward and they're like, well, I made a poor decision. And they're trying to tell other people and the other, like, you know, transgender, no, you can't. Say, no, get out of here. They disown them. Like, it, in America, if you don't, <laughs> yeah, bro, they get They get disown them, them and throw their penis out with them. <laughs> they, throw, they, they, they throw them out the club. And they, yeah, they, yeah, just, throw just, the baby out with the bathwater. Just the mutilated dick hits you in the forehead <laughs> or oh, you on the ground. Oh, bro, it's such a, <laughs> the world is so jacked up, bro. We, like, it's always about, like, this party. Like, you got to agree with everything that the party says. Like, if you're liberal, you got to agree with everything on the left. And then, you know, if you're, you know, on the right, you got to you gotta be everything that Republicans say. Like, you can't even... You can't even like um, say, "Hey, I agree a little bit." No, if you agree with anything that they say, they're gonna kill you, bro. It's almost like you get ostracized, like Kanye. Naysayer, he's a naysayer. Get him out of here! <laughs> get him out of here! And then you, you see mutilate him. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, he's already been mutilated. <laughs> it's too late. Oh shit! Oh, we are evil. God but um, uh, <laughs> but um, you see, uh, Nancy Pelosi, uh, husband got attacked and. Yeah, I heard he got attacked by a rogue hammer. A rogue? No, he got the he got the hammer taken out of his hands. Oh, yeah. So the the so guy the rogue hammer didn't jump into his hand. No, oh, no, okay. No, he got hit. I could have sworn I saw that somewhere. <laughs> you know what's crazy, bro? When the body cam footage comes out, which I don't think it is, it'll come out like seven a lot. Months well, later a lot of people, yeah, cares. a lot of. Well, I'm thinking they're gonna stage it. I believe it's staged. Um, this uh, there's no fact behind it, but I do believe it is staged because. 
Nancy Pelosi wasn't there. And they just the way they said it, oh, this man came in and uh, what well, police came in and he took the hammer out of uh, uh, Mr. Pelosi's hand and he hit him in the head. So that you're telling me uh, these are the worst cops in history or they watch the man. There's some bad ones. No, no, there was like three cops. So you didn't shoot or tase. If it was anybody else, it would have been ba ba boo bop. Would have shot him up. You, I've seen people shot for less. Shoot, what was the kid? What in Texas or something? I don't, I don't know. know if it's Texas. He was like eating a McChicken. The cops just shot him. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> I was like, what yeah, the fuck? right. So now you're talking about a government official, and you know this is a government official's house. This is a high ranking person, right? Right. I'm pretty sure that dude wasn't black then. Nah. Yeah, it would have. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It, 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 yeah, it, it would be. Yeah. You already know. Some crack. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> sprinkle some crack on them. Like, nah, but um, because you know, crack you get more time in jail, so ah, it's, it's more time you sprinkle crack instead of coke. Yeah, well, because it was always the reason. The reason why is because coke is a rich man's drug and crack is a poor man's. Yeah, but um, so they took the dude. Well, when the dude broke in, he was like, "Where's Nancy? Where's Nancy?" <laughs> they said he had zip ties. So he said so. He, he look, announced the name of the person he yeah, was trying to kidnap. Yeah, yeah, no, no, he was he was gonna zip tie her ass up and beat her. I was like, stealth would have been the way to go though. Uh, I don't know. Bro. I don't think yeah. busting in and announcing yourself, bro. That that's why this whole thing seems like a farce. Like it just unless like, it's a really dumb person. Yeah, could be. It, it was in um San, uh, San Diego, and they said he um, California man. That's a new Florida. Yeah, it's it's, it's way worse. <laughs> Wait, no. California's the new California. No, California's the worst yeah, place. It's ever, always bro. been that, yeah. It's always been well, it's gotten progressively worse and a lot of people are moving out. Their homeless population is just like crazy. And it's like they don't do anything. Bro, have, you, have you seen they've been sending homeless people to the desert? Like in just into the middle of the desert? But they make their way back. No, no. They literally like so I think it's Lancaster, which is like a little suburb or like a like a suburb city of LA. Yeah. Yeah, all the homeless people, they just like Burn their tents down, water hose them, and they say, "If you go to the desert, we won't mess with you." So they all just <laughs> so they just got people in the desert like dropping like flies. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no water in the desert. Ain't no Yo, nothing. Yo, hey man, that's that's crazy. <laughs> I would never, I would never go to California. Like just right now, I've just it, it's such in a bad state. Rappers getting murdered out there. Homeless people are cra- homeless people are just attacking random people. Bro, There's no they, rhyme or reason. They be on some. They dude. I think they honestly experiment on drugs. Like they just drop drugs in the streets of L.A. <clears throah> I don't think they care about L.A., bro. Bro, it's like there's somebody evils in L.A. right now that's just like watching. It's like, like where do they get the drugs? Like you know, they probably got bum fights somewhere. Like they somebody's host. bro. They do bum fights. They got gangs that extort the homeless people that like hey. that beg for money all day. They hey. they literally come around and just be like. I'll give you a gram of meth for all the money you beg for the for the week. Wow. <laughs> I, I seen his video. There's this guy. He he went on Dr. Phil a long time ago. And I knew Dr. Phil was pissed because this guy, um, Dr. Phil's like, this guy, he's like a degenerate. He he posts videos of of, of people that are are in bad situations. And the guy literally gets bums and he'll pay the money to like him, like five bucks or something. He'll be like, hey, eat this or hey, go fight this guy or do the, just the most random stuff. Right. So when he walks on Dr. Phil, he comes in with the Dr. Phil haircut. He shaves his head like Dr. Oh Phil wears God. the suit. Yo, Dr. Phil was so embarrassed. He's like, get off my stage. Get off. Yo, he didn't even. He said, he said, wait, but I'm doing just like you. I'm just kind of um, exposing people and just everything that's bad in their life. So I'm I'm just like you, Doctor Phil. That's why I got the haircut like you. <laughs> Get off my stage. We're not gonna allow that. He was just embarrassed to talk to him. Dude, it was hilarious. Wasn't Doctor Phil? He was on Joe on Joe Rogan. Yeah, he podcast. was just on Joe Rogan. I, I listened about to him. the homeless, right? Um, I don't remember the full thing. I know they did talk about the amount of meth or not meth, uh, fentanyl that China is pumping. They said into the they, so the, China is because uh, fentanyl is a synthetic drug. It's it's man made. Supposed Bro, to be like opiate. I, I'm telling you, I remember. What yeah. was it, 2013, on the internet, it was when Limitless came out. Fentanyl? With Bradley Cooper, and they were literally saying, this is the Limitless pill, and it was fentanyl. I don't think it was fentanyl. Bro, no, I'm saying, like, people were dying from from this pill, like, back then. Yeah, oh, the fentanyl? Yeah, like, they, they were trying to market it as, like, it was when Limitless had came out. Oh, so they, they were already trying to. And they were, like, marketing it as the Limitless pill, and it was just, like, 
pre- like, oh. like press fin though. Oh, so you're okay. And you could buy it on the internet and Damn. it would get shipped from China. And this was like in 2013. I Damn. remember this shit. So you know what's crazy? Bro? I almost tried it, but I was like, nah, that shit that shit sound too good to be true. No, nah, bro, you would you would be out of here. <laughs> you would not been, be sitting. Hey, maybe, yeah. maybe there's supposed to be somebody else right here, but they tried to pill. <laughs> nah, bro. I was peace. like. I was like, there ain't no way I'd be smart as hell from just ordering this shit from China. <laughs> hell no. Bro, but I feel like, okay, so we're going to, this kind of conspiracy theory like stuff, China is like, it's like chemical warfare. They're, they're low-key fighting a war right now with us because they're taking the fentanyl that they're making. And for people that don't know what fentanyl is, fentanyl, I don't know where you've been, but fentanyl is a drug where if you even take a little piece of it, it could kill it could kill you. A whole gram could kill thousands of people. It could kill like an elephant. Like fentanyl is terrible. And there are every day 300 people are dying because of fentanyl, right? And so China is making the fentanyl. They're shipping it to the cartel and the cartel are pumping the pills into America. So it's like, damn, dude, if that's what China's doing, it's like they're almost killing Americans on purpose. Shit, we, we giving their ass a Big Mac. That's killing their ass. On <laughs> <laughs> Eat this whopper, nigga. Eat this can. Yo, <laughs> hey, that is not even the same, bro. I've never seen a big Asian. <laughs> what sumo? Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but um, I was just saying the food bad, bro. No, nah, of course, good. of course. Um, Big Macs and all that stuff's bad, but the leading cause of death in America right now for ages eighteen to forty-five is fentanyl. Like it's killing everybody because a lot of people it's not even on purpose it's just a lot of people are just um um like in california they have like this thing where people could order um drugs right and the cartels are even on snapchat where um the colors are in like pastel colors so they look like oh wow it's like a it's like the easter bunny colors and like real nice colors to kids they're very appealing oh you're talking about the pills the way the, the, the way pastel the color yeah, yeah yeah like so you know, they're given, you know, uh, people order them, they'll send me your doorstep. And there there was this girl who took the pill and she, you know, it was just for school. And when she took the pill, uh, she only took a third of it and she died. Her parents found her dead. And imagine if her little sister or somebody, like one of her friends would have came in there and took the pill too. Cause it looks like candy, right? And that's how they're dressing dressing the pill up. Ooh, a piece of candy. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, but you, you ain't going to wake up from this one. So right. it's, it's just killing a lot of people. And <clears throat> you just got to get the word across. That's why even for Halloween, you know, if you get if you got oh, candy dog, from going door to door, not, man, I, I would never, I would never trick or treat again. I know, know what I know now, bro. First of all, there's a bunch of pedophiles out there. There's a bunch of weirdos, bro. Yeah, I, that freaking hey, I don't even want the bad mojo. You don't even know if people be in there, yeah, voodoo and they candy yeah, or some shit. <laughs> said, you don't know voodoo. what they do. bad juju on yeah. the candy, <laughs> bro. For real, that, yeah, I man. Ain't dealing with that shit. No, nah, there's people are just I don't know, man. It's just the world has become. Is it is it that the world has become crazier, or, or we is just it see it more? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or are we just seeing it more because we're able to shine a light on all this stuff, right? Because now we have cameras, we got social media. So if something happens, we see it. In a way, I think it's fear mongering though, because they can hide anything they want to hide from you if they really wanted to. I mean, they could, but I, you know, the media does lie to you a lot. But I'm saying if they keep you in a constant state of fear, they mean yeah, that they can control you. Yeah, just right. Like, but at, at and, and they time. do. But it's because they're using my child. If it's me, I don't care about myself as much as I care for my daughter, I mean, right? But that's you personally. Yeah. There's a lot of people. You, <clears throat> but you know, they care about themselves, so it's like But but right, when 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 COVID hit, there was so much misinformation that was being spread. I didn't even get the vaccine. I didn't care. Like I was like, I don't believe this because I caught it right away and I beat it. I was like, they better stop playing, right? But COVID was killing man, people that, that shit, were, that shit had me purple. I was purple in the face, like, man, yeah. I think I'm sick. <laughs> I, I felt fine But I was just purple You were purple? Bro it was weird bro I had like a weird hue To my skin It's cause my My oxygen level was low Bro you didn't go in? Nah bro Robitussin Oh <laughs> Bro you could've died Nah I'm good Oh no Nah I'm good But did you get the vaccine? Nah Oh uh, yeah see See but now more people Are dying because of the vaccine Cause they took it Hey you see Katy Perry I? Bro Yo, They I met, said I met a dude that Like like literally was like I got blind from the vaccine He's Yeah like, He was like I could see a year ago And I could tell he wasn't lying Cause you he know, was a bad blind guy He was wow. not good at being blind <laughs> hey, You bro. could tell he was fresh blind Like <laughs> He did not know how to use that stick fresh He blind. didn't know how to walk He, he was He was hitting people <laughs> Yeah He was hey, fresh Yo I'm gonna pray for him bro That's rough We shouldn't he be laughing He was like I could see a year ago I was like yo you know how scary that is because, and then you got soccer players dropping dead, and then like 
And then you still got, you know what's crazy? I was listening to the news today, and then you still you still have people in the government like, oh, well, uh, what's his name? Uh, was like, well, uh, the president was like, well, it, it, COVID is uh, over, but you should still get your boosters. You should still, what? They're still saying get your fifth. There are people on number five. Yo, number what? That's rolling the dice every time. No, I didn't. I didn't get it. I I, I was like, you <laughs> know what, man? I be blind from this booster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, but it's like, what health complications are going to go down the line? What are going to be all because big pharma wants money and everything? Oh, Pfizer, Pfizer, and then they all. Bro, I don't. I don't trust. I don't even be trusting doctors half the time. A lot of people lie. Like you heard about Doctor Oz. I ain't hear about it, but I I could imagine him because doctors get paid to give you certain medicines. Yeah, bro, and it's like you're telling, and plus half the medication right now, a lot of it on the market is fake. Like a lot of people are selling like uh, fake pills, and so you're buying it from your friend. Like you know how uh, you're like, hey, let me get some Adderall from you. Oh yeah, I got a prescription. Half that ain't even real. Like there was a big there was a big drug bust recently where they found a lab. I don't know. I think it was like down you know south you know down south by the border or something where they're pumping out seventy million pills. And a bunch of it had laced with fentanyl uh, over like twenty or forty. What's the I think point in just putting fentanyl and <gasps> shit. Well, just, fentanyl, just fentanyl is addicting. It's addicting, yeah. Yeah. So if you put fentanyl on some, it gives you like a oh, like it's like a you get the right amount. You're like oh, sh- oh, that's that's fire. And then you're gonna go back for more. Shoot, half of the addicts when they die, that's when they like oh, that was some good shit. Like I'm serious, bro. There yeah. there are addicts that when they halfway die, they're like, let me get what you just gave me. Like literally. <laughs> The shit don't be making sense. <clears throat> but the thing is, you feel so good, but man, just imagine you just when you see that white light all yeah, the time. No, bro, no, <laughs> no. It feels so good, but then there's got to be a certain point. You're like, oh, this feels too good. I don't like this feeling. Ride a roller coaster, bro. Bro, yeah. Just get a really scary roller coaster, <clears throat> bungee dive or some shit. I don't man, know. Man, but that's got to be bungee imagine, jump. I said bungee dive. <laughs> wouldn't that be scary though? Like you're so high, and you're like, oh, this is a bad trip. Because I've had bad trips in my life. Like I've taken some stuff, you know. And I remember one time I took, I did a bunch of blow and then I took, uh, some edibles. Right. But I forgot, <laughs> I forgot, <clears throat> no, no, no. I forgot. I, I, I forgot they were edibles. I thought it was candy oh. and it was a bag, you know, I got it. And so, you know, I'm doing my lines. I'm, you know, having a good time, get ready to go to bed. I didn't go to bed, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I tripped for like That's good. nine you hours. Bed. You weren't waking up. <clears throat> no, I tripped for about nine hours tripping. And I was like, I'm never doing this again. And it scared the hell. I, I don't do edibles. You ever no went more. to sleep in the hippo's mouth? What the hell is that? Uh, that's when you. That's, that's a really bad trip, bro. Bro, you want me to tell you how bad it was? You I just felt lay down like in bed and your bed's a hippo's <coughs> mouth. You're like, oh, uh, I hope <laughs> I it doesn't close it, bro. <laughs> yeah, I hope it doesn't close. <laughs> you know what's scary? I was in a basement, but I'm bro. not getting up though. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was so scared, and it was like this is how scared I was. I, I, I just watched a, 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 a movie, and there was like a ninja. That um that you couldn't even see it would be body parts like he was so fast right and in my head I was like okay Sony or Xbox and I was like I was like oh shit the whole world I'm surrounded right now I'm the only American left and it's Japanese people all around me I'm like bro I'm fucking tripping balls right <laughs> I'm like if I pick wrong uh, Microsoft Sony I'm tripping bro I'm like I'm about to get killed and I just seen this movie about the ninja and I'm like they gonna Sony gonna send some ninjas to kill me <laughs> bro I was yo I turned off I turned on all the lights I was scared to go upstairs I was like he's gonna kill me. This man think the lights are gonna save him, bro. <laughs> shit, at least I can see, <laughs> bro. And then I'm gonna turn on another light so I can <clears throat> see him coming. <clears throat> I can't beat him though. <laughs> <laughs> it just scared me, bro. And then after that, I was like, I ain't never. So I can't even imagine what these people were feeling because they actually died. Like they were on, they died. Oh, because they begin that that what serotonin, the D, yeah. the DMT we get released from their brain, so they just be tripping, bro, halfway dead. You, you, you know um. That the reason why I really don't even trust like pharmacies is I found this out on Joe Rogan. They were talking about how um, serotonin, how they use it to say it's supposed to like calm depression or whatever. Or what? Does it just make you dependent on it? No, 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 no. They said that it has nothing to do with depression ever for the past decade. So they just been selling you a lie. Well, so, I know half of your serotonin production is from your gut or whatever your gut. Your gut health. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like. If that's the case, so you've been you've been selling this to people for however however long you were selling to them for, and they, not, it didn't even help them. You were just lying to them. So they, what, the, what does it do? I don't know. It it didn't help de- depression. It just makes your poop silky smooth. I, I have no idea, man. But it just, it just lets you know how people are in it for shit, money. Milk, all that <clears throat> shit. I don't mess with milk. 
No, I'm saying like they led you to believe like, like calcium builds strong bones, and it's like it's like what's it's like what's real anymore, man? Like it's like you almost don't even know. It's like we're just in the matrix, and people are are or messing with just, you. You gotta really learn. Like you gotta actually know your shit. Like because people could just lie to you. It's pre- like misinformation everywhere. Yeah, so it's really just educate yourself to the highest degree. <gasps> and I ain't talking about book smart. Like literally, like like just knowing. Like yo. What's in milk? Let me read the ingredients. Let me see what these ingredients do. But <laughs> it's just hard because you got the left and the right, and they're both pushing their own stuff, and they're always, oh, this person's lying, that person's lying. And then it's like they gaslight you so hard, you don't even know what to believe in anymore. And you start questioning your own sanity, like, damn, did, is that real? And then it's just like Kyrie Irving with his um, his statement. Oh, what a good segue. Good, good for me. So um, I like what you did there. Yeah, yes, yes. It's <laughs> like... It's like, damn, were black people the actual Jew, the first Jews? That's how we segued into Jordan earlier. We, I mean, we were talking oh, about Oh, yeah, that's how we got there. Yeah. That's how we got to Jordan. Yeah, that's how the Black Sea, the Red Sea, we're all. <laughs> Remember, yeah, and for people that are listening, make sure you always fact check everything. Doesn't matter if it comes from me, my boy, the, the news. Yeah, it's a, always fact check everything. You have to. Come together and we share our information. That's yeah, we share information. If you hear something, you go check it. Just like the Migos. I, I seen the New York Times, but. Was he left off bad and bougie? They said he was, but uh, Takeoff said he wasn't. And I was like, uh, Takeoff said he wasn't, and New York Times just lied to me, and they're a big news source. Yeah. Yeah, you got to fact check. But um, <clears throat> uh, with Kyrie Irving, when he said uh, from from Hebrews to Negroes. No, he shared, he, like, so it's a documentary. Yeah. And uh, I'm watching that tonight. It's a documentary in a book? Yeah, doc- yeah, a documentary in a book from. I'm not reading it. From Hebrews to Negroes. So and it's like wake up people or something. So it's supposed to be. So what if this was all a thing with Kanye, him, Candace Owens? They're all colluding together, but we just don't know it, right? Well, I, I honestly, I don't necessarily think it's co- collusion. I yeah. think it's, I think it's like a bunch a- of relevant, awakening, a relevant, yeah, a bunch of relevant people who see one person is expressing themselves so they're with the same knowledge that they have. Yeah. So now they're expressing themselves with the same knowledge. Yeah. You know what, man? I started listening to Candace Owens recently. She's very aggressive with how she approaches things, but she's right. And it's like, I would rather have somebody say a statement that's very rude. And even though that I don't like how she said it, with the fact that. Is it she, aggressive or is it confident? Um. Well, when she was like, just. I don't know, man. I feel like it, it, it ruffles feathers is what it does. It makes a, like, it would make the typical um, African-American angry because of, you know, the statements that she says. Like, oh, all of Black Lives Matter was bad. I mean, I don't believe all of it was bad. And she, and she's the, talking she's a, about an LLC, <coughs> though. You guys, you guys put that into... Okay. Into you the, know what I mean? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. She's, talking about, a, she's talking about a company. Okay, all right. So uh, that... Well, not a company, but an organization. Yeah, and then wearing the White Lives Matter, like doing something like that. It's like aggressive, like... Um, it'll it'll uh, wearing that White Lives Matter T-shirt will make a lot of black people angry, and she knew that, right? Yeah. But it was it wasn't because she was saying, "Hey, White Lives Matter." It was to draw attention to like the way she did it. That's aggressive for people. Yeah. Like it's not like, "Hey, you know, um, I'm gonna talk like this." But she drew so much attention to it, and it worked. And it's like, it even though that definitely got more eyes on what it the did. documentary. It, it it did, and it made me watch Doctor Many, and then now I li- I listened to her podcast and I checked her stuff out, and man, she doesn't, she's not, she doesn't like she, take. She does research too. <clears throat> that's she why does I like a good her job of, of researching what she's talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's why I like her podcast, and she's not. Um, she could be abrasive to, to some people, but I like it. I like how she keeps it real though, and it's never. I feel like she's lying to me, and she'll be like, she'll she'll say good and the bad for both sides, you know. And and that's what I like where you're even even if she has an opinion on something, it's not to where she tries to get you to turn or switch like you can still have your own opinion. Right. And she keeps it real. So that's what that's why I like some of the stuff that she does. But but the Kyrie situation. Yeah. But um, with him. He didn't even like share an opinion on it. He kind of just he just tweeted it. Yeah, he just showed like, all right, well, this is something I found interesting, and would you, you guys like to read this as well? So or watch. This so then well. everybody said, oh, he's he's racist. He doesn't like Jews. If you say anything about the Jewish community, it's just because I over. think it had quotes from from Hitler like in the documentary. Oh, so that's what people are mad about. Yeah, you you, you know what, man? I feel like this. We are way too sensitive. 
because you remember how I'm, I'm gonna start off by saying this you remember how they're like take everything from the south and remove it i was like dude like you shouldn't have to remove statues it's a statue regardless of what that man did it's a part of history right <laughs> yeah, negative or positive. Negative or positive, you could learn from that. And you're like, oh, it makes me angry. Okay, so what? It makes you angry. Like now, like you can't even say, um, hey, uh, uh, uh like mom and dad to some people. Well, because some kid said, well, I have, mo- I have two moms, or I have two moms. I don't That's know how to feel about problem. that. That's exactly like, bro. This world is going to such a. I feel like people like you and me, we need to speak up more on stuff like that. Because I should have said some, even like, or even even whether it's a tweet or something. Where you get like money, people. It's because I feel like uh, people like us that we know stuff like that. I don't care if I see a guy with a Confederate flag; like, I, it doesn't bother me. Like when they moved it, removed it from NASCAR, for whatever. It can stand for something else for some somebody. Like it doesn't offend me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though a lot of people are like it's making me angry. Why is it making you well, angry? It's just, yeah, like I get it. Negative <laughs> history, negative connotations. Yeah. It's just, but it's, it's not a swastika. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, it's like. It was a civil war that was fought. Yeah, like the shit happened. It wasn't a. It's not a swastika where, me, I don't know, man. Me not seeing it doesn't change the fact that it happened. That, yeah, and and it's still what it's still gonna be in their house, and it's gonna it's gonna yeah, feel now, more now hate. People, people just hiding it. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna feel gonna, more hate, and it's gonna bubble up, and then yeah, it's gonna no, then it's gonna come out, and it's gonna spill over. It, it, I feel <laughs> like it's it's a, there's a lot of people out here, and it, maybe it's, it's a, not even it's, it's not expression even expression in a way, right? It, it is. really is. You like, should be. Some people want to express themselves, but say you can't express like your, yourself. Yeah, it's I don't know, man. This gen, it's, I don't even know what if it's was a generation. Tiger King wasn't he a gay redneck cowboy? <laughs> bro, he, he was, was everything. Himself. That was everything, bro. <laughs> you see how the LGBTQ plus is just getting bigger and bigger, and then now they have their own town <laughs> and what their own um, their own little town in San Francisco. I don't I know, think. bro. They have so many people that are coming in, and then they're like. Dude, you're you're not even a part of the group. Some of them are just adding themselves, and it's like, what yeah. are you here for? What about the human carpet guy? He's just adding himself. <laughs> the guy that wants to get stepped. <laughs> the guy that wants to get stepped on. Bro, the human I feel carpet like guy. He just that was funny. He, he's an LGBTQ plus yeah. now. Yeah, everybody is, bro. So we got to put a C. LGBTQ. Yeah. Every day something's new is getting yeah, added. Is, hey, we it's got like carpet. We got to add the carpet. If this is not the biggest cry for help that I've ever seen, I'm not even a psychologist. This is the like. Like These a societal want, cry for help. Yeah, <laughs> people people just want love. You know what they say? This is like when the demise of culture start to happen, or civilizations when stuff like this is how you know we have too many things in life. When you could afford to, hey, I want to be this. I want to get a second. You have too much food, or huh? you have your life is too good, or something's going on, bro. It's like if we went. If, let, let's say if a nuke, like a, a nuke went off, right? Putin sends off. Maybe this is this is the reset that's gonna happen. Fuck no, I hope not. I do it when I'm dead. No, it's, 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 this is why it's scary. All this stuff is going on. Putin hits that nuke. It blows everything up. You think motherfuckers gonna have the time to wonder about their sexuality? No, you're gonna you're gonna have to learn to farm. Nah, you're gonna have gonna to be that one guy. Survival. That's like the nukes flying in the sky. He's like fifteen thousand man orgy. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna fuck into oblivion. No, no, <laughs> because the people that survive, you're gonna have to rebuild. You're not gonna. You're nobody's getting up and saying. Oh, I I want to be shut the fuck up. Or, excuse my language. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, <laughs> shut up, or go till the ground. <laughs> hey, you you really think people have time for that back in them days? Bro, no, I, honestly, I think yeah. I, don't know. I just feel like motherfuckers. We gonna, have too many things right now. They just gonna fuck, eat, and that's it. Fuck, eat, and sleep is gonna be the world. <laughs> they ain't, exactly. Ain't nobody gonna be thinking about. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> the LG. I'm flying the flag. Shut up. <laughs> it's yeah. getting me. Give me your meat. <laughs> Both of it. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, okay. Oh, you, oh, you want you want a sex chain? Chop off his penis. Well, we're eating penis tonight. Hey. I'm hungry. <laughs> penis raviolis. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think I worry about all that. Nah, you don't have to. It's because right now, you, you remember how um, is it Darwin's thing? Uh, the hierarchy. Like you're like you got to meet your basic needs. Like there's like food, shelter, and then until you're into enlightenment. It's because yeah, I ain't never seen nobody <laughs> in the uh, no nobody afraid <laughs> worried about <laughs> yeah right <laughs> because you need food and you're naked because bro you know you know what put I put a know, leaf on your on your titty yeah no ain't nobody, I, nobody I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> we naked and afraid shut up <laughs> bro imagine if the reset happens and uh and Adam and Eve and it, and it's Adam and Adam or Eve and Eve and it's just like a guy with a I don't know some titties. Because the nuke goes off, and there's two people left to populate the earth. 
but they both got sex changes. It's over. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. Nope. It would just be a. Uh, we gotta watch a monkey come back <laughs> and fuck another monkey and something. Out of them. Bro, <laughs> we're, we're doomed, bro. As as a society right now, the way we're going because we're letting. It's because people, like the good people of the world, the hardworking like Americans in America, are not speaking up because we're just like laid back, relaxing. And we're letting the idiots run free. Because we're not, we're not getting. It's because we don't we're care. Not getting as offended. <laughs> yeah, we don't care. But it's like we have to start caring if we don't speak up. Stuff like this. Like, um, I went to GameStop and there was this person, and I knew he was a dude, right? But he, you could tell, like either he's going to, he's taking some hormones, and I was just thinking, like, this is all. This is what San Francisco looks like. Oh my god! Right, but it it didn't bother me. But I was just like. Hey. Like what happened in your life? Like, I, like I wish you would have had somebody there, because you could tell he was like maybe eighteen. Like if you could just have somebody there, be like, man, it's okay, it's all right, I got you. Let's go fishing. Yeah, let's go fishing. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go do something together. <laughs> like he would have just had some here. love because I feel like they joined these groups because they never got that love and affection. So they go to these groups to try to get it because you know if you get this change, you're gonna feel that love from them, or you could reach out to them. It's a group. It's a community. Come on, man. Even on LGBT or uh, the LGBTQ, all that. Or uh, no, no. It was the Black Lives that was get, giving donations to the LGBTQ plus community. Yeah, you know I'm saying? The alphabet. I'm going to say the alphabet. I'm not going to say L. I'm not say all the time. Bro, yeah, it's too many letters. It's too many goddamn letters. Shit. <laughs> I think my name only got four letters in it. <laughs> Completely. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, but it's like, do you, do you think that the world is ever going to go back or backwards? No, nah. you don't think so. Like nah. you think we're only gonna spiral down. Something is gonna have to happen though. Like we're at this like point in society right now where we're in the. Everybody's watching. It's just, bro. It's just everything's getting hypersexualized, and I think eventually it's gonna get to a point where like motherfuckers just gonna be walking around fucking in the streets, bro. <laughs> it's just gonna be either you inside on VR, yeah, or like you, it's just a giant orgy inside or some shit. The way they fucking is going about this. They got kids wearing fucking sexy clothes now. They got bro. That's what's scary, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, that's why I'm like keeping a good eye. I, I mean, when my son's born, I won't really care too much. It's like he's a guy. Like or as a man, like, you got to go off on your own. You got to build your own life. We'll right? see, man. What prostitution gonna become legal in every state or some shit? Or yeah, like, yeah. I mean, they just gonna slowly let every drug be be legal. You, you think it's California is like you think, <laughs> it's gonna be pure debauchery, bro. You think California is like a test? <laughs> They're just kind of testing California. Nah, uh, they you, could you, be. You, you know what's crazy, bro? I think there are a lot of because you know how there's all these activists right now. Like um, somebody threw like soup at a painting. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, for like what? Um, oh, wait, hold on. I was like, was it was it Peter? Were they talking about freaking dolphins? <laughs> Man, I don't even know what the attention was. I, it was something about. Oh, on, okay. uh, wait, I don't even. Is it a Van I can't Gogh? Even wasn't it? Gogh's uh, soup at a. Ba- oh, Van Gogh. Yeah. Oh, my God. What was it about? Yo. All right. Fovey Plummer have recently gone viral, but they're not interested in being popular. They're more focused on helping stop climate. Oh, my God. Climate activists. It's for climate change. She threw soup. Imagine being so lazy. Instead of going out, picking up trash, I'm going to go and throw soup at a Van Gogh to draw attention. Yeah, it's like if you really give a shit, like volunteer it, organizations. uh, Heck, there's people out here turning glass bottles into sand for for like for for re like to get beaches back or whatever. Yeah. So it's like you can you can put your mind towards better things. You you know, you know, you know what's crazy, bro? These people are like, well, we're going to stop climate change. Do you understand? It don't even matter. Let's say um, uh, we mess up the earth. First off, Mother Nature's going to get rid of us before. like you, This thing's been here for billions of years. What do you think is going to happen? You really think that we're going to stop the earth with polluting it? Like People think that, oh, no. you. The earth has been through mad like ice ages. It's been through ice mad volcano ages, eruptions. Probably. Imagine just volcanoes, asteroids. Reset about you think you what? think a little bit of gas about five times is reset. Probably. Yeah, yeah, it'll reset us. <laughs> and these climate people are like, oh, 
it, you know, I'm going to act crazy and I'm going to throw soup on a Van Gogh to get my point across. She looks young. She looks like she hasn't even ever held a job in her life. And she's actually been linked to um, one of the oil barons. Uh, I can't remember who they who they were, but that's probably why she's so passionate about it. No, but no, the the, the there's this girl but not or, passionate in the right uh, way. No, the leader who's like funding the group. Her family comes from a uh, rich oil family, and she's just giving them money because she's she just born into a rich family. She never had to do anything her whole life, so she just gives these people money, let them go do her, her like, her work. Sure. So know. these people are literally entitled. Like you, you don't throw soup. Like imagine if you got to go to work, bro, <clears throat> and you're sitting down. Or and then you hit this roadblock, and these people are sitting down there, and you got to get to work. And you're on your last strike. You've had five points. You're on your sixth point. Yep. They're gonna let you go. All because oh. of. And now you don't run somebody over. All because of. Those are because of climate. All because of some Peter and llamas. <laughs> llamas in the, in, the, in the Middle East. It's not even Peter, bro. <laughs> Peter will throw some blood at your fur coat. <laughs> Remember the Wanda Sykes? <laughs> he threw threw like paint on her fur coat. It was all. Some. Yeah, nah, man. <clears throat> but crazy, bro. You just threw something on history. A Van Gogh. Yeah. I said Van Gogh. I'm, I'm crazy. I didn't real. I didn't see the van in front. I was like, oh, that's Van Gogh. That was a like, goh, bro. Yeah, nah, yeah, bro. And that's crazy. <laughs> nah, man. You said stop oil supporters. Why are they acting like if you stop oil, that it's gonna stop pollution? Like, do they know that even when you um. Uh, what's that called? Electric cars use fossil fuels. I don't think they understand this. Well, yeah, they don't know a battery is a is a store of power, and that yeah. the battery has to be charged. From yeah, using fossil, fossil fuels. fuels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, bro. I, or the uh, or the wind turbines. Yeah, how they got to have a diesel bro, truck drive bro, it to even bro, assemble it. Bro, they're, they're, they don't think they. All they, you know, what's crazy? Or even I think, a crane to assemble it. Yeah, no, they don't. They, they don't. They don't process things through because they never ever had to like work or understand how things like you know how the war right now is affecting our food prices and inflation. But they don't think how we're all connected in a certain way that you need this to work with this. Like Russia is causing the price of grain and food to go up because they were holding like. Um, Grain being sent out from Ukraine, which goes to Africa, which goes through all over the world, right? But they don't see how everything is connected. They're saying, well, if we just stop the production of oil, then we're good. No, you're an idiot. That's not how it works out. This A lot of people depend on this job. There are yeah. it, it links families and a whole bunch of stuff, but they don't, they don't see that. All they think about is what they want. Me, I, 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 I. Yeah, no, they don't know the infrastructure. They were compromised. They don't understand. Yeah. Like they're compromising a lot of stuff, and they don't even know that behind the scenes that some of the stuff that they support, like is low key being <coughs> funded by yeah, like yeah. Well, even tobacco yeah. You I always wonder who pays for these tobacco commercials, bro. It, it has to be tobacco, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you think so? <laughs> it would have to be. I don't, who the I hell don't know. raises that money to get people to stop smoking? I don't know, bro. If, but if they donate it to like these nonprofits yeah. to go against them, it's like, all right, now we get bro. to write this money off. <laughs> bro, and man. people are still smoking, though. No, I'm saying this doesn't stop. It, 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 it'll, it'll never stop, bro. It'll never stop. I'm just saying, when you really think about oh, it, how the hell do they get money? Like to run those commercials during the Super Bowl, bro. Bro, hold on. Let me. I'm gonna watch the video. <laughs> Don't smoke during the Super Bowl, bro. They glued their hands to a. Pe- oh my God! Are they stupid? Oh, they threw the they threw the soup. I'm I'm actually watching the video. Oh my god. Oh, why would you? Somebody has to clean that. They're gonna probably get it restored. It's yo, yo, a so professional restoration. Oh my god. And then they glue no, okay, they didn't glue their hands to the van go. You can still save it. Oh. Oh man. And they're they're gonna exit yo, is that a guy? Probably got a sex change. I can't tell. But um so the uh, I just just stop oil. So it looks like there's a guy with that girl, and he's following her because he probably looks like he wants some ass from her. <laughs> but they're glued to a Van Gogh. Yeah, they no. Well, they glued themselves to the wall, and you're gonna rip you. You just take your hands off. So there was just I guess there was just Porsche. Um, <clears throat> this Porsche company where these people, these climate activists, came in, and they're like, "We're not gonna leave." And so all they did was they didn't even call the cops. They just left and locked them in there. And they closed the bathroom so they couldn't use the bathroom. And they just went home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now you're gonna have to take a doogie on yourself. I seen this one video of this like taxi cab driver. Yeah. And like the fucking the woman was like screaming and yelling, like, 
uh, no, take me here. But she didn't have no money. Yeah. So he just gets out the car, takes the keys, locks the door, walks away. <laughs> 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 she just in the car. <laughs> 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 he just left. I was like, yo, that's that's a perfect way to handle that situation. Yeah, bro. That's like a grown up way to handle it. He's just like, all right, well, all right, see you later. You break the window, I got you on camera on the dash. <laughs> well, I can't stand people, man. Bro, some people are really idiots. Oh, how do you go to a Van Gogh, bro? Like, that's such a just stop oil. Oh, man. And you could just tell What did Van Gogh do to oil? What do? What, what was his part in it? <sighs> yeah, exactly. What did he do? He's just, he just in his, you know, uh, re- Renaissance era loft yeah. apartment. Freaking probably magic mushroom the hell out, just painting, just painting away. Bro, just painting. And imagine that probably down got the some line. naked women chained up somewhere. I, I imagine he you probably really was so? a weirdo. Nah, maybe. No, nah, back back then. <laughs> yeah, allegedly back then. If you if you could do stuff like that, I, I wonder could. if it was. Imagine if his art was wasn't like anything that like ah oh, nobody cared. Oh, like back then it was mediocre. Like, like ugh. But then like he he like died some cool way and it became like trendy. Bro, it, like how like how did stuff like that just. Man, bro, look. a rabbit hole, man. That's how you go down them. No, I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole tonight. I'm gonna go look up a bunch of stuff, and I want to go see the. <sighs> Did she really put something around her neck, bro? Oh, uh, you know why is it that all these activists, or like all these people that are in these type, of, why do they all just look like different? Like she has like pink hair. They always have like the pink or the purple hair. You're like you about to start individuality, uh, bro. It's so annoying. They all have a certain vibe. Their energy levels all the same. It's all gives that through the roof. <laughs> It's so it's a different vibe. Eccentric as hell, bro. It, uh, I don't. They, it, their frequencies are all the same. Like you just feel it. Like you can feel somebody's energy, bro. As you get older, you you peep energy more. Like you can see somebody. Like if I go to the hood and you know you see the group of guys on the block and they're just looking at you. You know, what's what's where are you from? Uh, you already know what type time that is. They they gonna kick your ass. They rob <laughs> you. You if you feel their energy already. You can just look and just feel energy. Your no. energy's always the same. Nah, yeah, uh, people that be uh, like just overly enthused for for a cause. That's really like you can just tell when people like just are like just overly into yeah. it. Yeah, bro. It's you. And it's like I get it, but like you, you also can read the room and like tone it down yeah, a little bit. You can. It, well, the problem is they're forcing their agenda down everybody's throat. Like, Cause dude, yeah, like, I'm not I, even saying I support you. Yeah, it's like I'm, I'm with you if it's like reasonable. I'm with you, bro. Like I get it. If you want to talk about um, activists and doing all of this stuff, well, it's like I, have a solution. Yeah, like, it's one thing to talk about it, but yeah, like, talk about it. Bring it up in conversation. But it's like what what what's your plan to solve this? What's yeah, your plan what to it, do what something it, about what, it? What what is ruining at Van Gogh? Yeah, that don't. No. Right, like what is that's that like? I'm just like, oh yeah, I hate it here. I hate it here, but I'm not doing nothing to. It, that is the laziest. <laughs> it's form like of I'm, activism. Not, I'm, I'm not doing nothing to to help it to change yeah, it. Like Martin Luther King when he when they walked in uh, was it Georgia when they walked Alabama. Alabama there you yeah. go. When they walked in Alabama, like that that's a peaceful protest. Like that's that's doing something. Well, and it's like yeah, it's for it's for go a clean reason. the beaches up. Go 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 find some ducks that got stuff around their necks and stuff. Yeah, get your, go take that off your, and then go post it. Get your daddy to write a check. Go get a net. Get a boat. Exactly. Go, go do go something. Go pull a trash out the ocean. But they say I'm, you're, I'm gonna, broke you're, over you're here. gonna fa- they're gonna face jail time. Yeah, no, they or just pay a bunch of money. Uh, oh, they can't afford that. It's priceless. What do you think they're gonna do? The money it, might come from somewhere. They bro, might start a, a, nah, a bro. GoFundMe for the for the climate. They they need to set an example. Look, look, bro. they gonna use their climate <laughs> money to build a jail <laughs> when they could have built <laughs> some water turbines with it or something. Bro, they, <laughs> bro, they're so lazy. The, bro. the hypocrisy, really, bro. It's like they're 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 gonna set up a GoFundMe now to get donations for court costs when that money could have been used to help whatever cause they're yeah, like exactly. You're, you're wasting it, and then you know where that money's coming from. There are people that are working hard. They actually give a damn. They but, give a damn, but, and you're gonna use that hard earned money, use their money to to help support. Yeah, this. and like like me, I, I be welding, and I'm causing a lot of fumes, bro. <laughs> Some of my money, <laughs> and I'm destroying. You know, you know, Mother Nature, which sucks. I'm not doing it on purpose, but you gotta feed my daughter, right? You gotta build buildings for people to live in. Yeah, you gotta build buildings so you can go do your activist shit in. Yeah, so you can go inside and throw yeah. paint everywhere. Yo, no, 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 no. I don't want to see activists in the building anymore because all that stuff that they're in fumes. 
Yeah. How do you think how do, how do you think that shit was put together? Unless it's made out of all wood and somebody chopped it, but how was that axe made? Somebody had to forge that. Somebody had to, you know, dig. <laughs> yeah, somebody I don't want to see them using products anymore because a phone, batteries, the way that in cobalt mines, child slave labor. I don't even want to see your Instagram post. I don't now. I don't even want to see the nothing. internet runs on power. I want to see you butt ass. Possibly. I don't want to see you wearing clothing. <laughs> I don't want to see you wearing nothing. You gotta be butt ass in these streets. You, better, you gotta you better make your own clothes. Yeah, some some banana leaves. <laughs> yeah, you wear some banana leaves. Bro, I can't stand them. They're picking and choosing what they want to be activists about, but neglecting everything else that's bad. Like I know this phone is terrible. Somebody in China had to make this, and then the battery, the cobalt mines. I feel bad. I pray on what it. What is it? Vegetarians or oh, vegans? That, yo, you heard about um that it's impossible? Like, you know that tractor ran on <laughs> on gas <laughs> to plant them. No, bro. Yo, you know what's funny? <laughs> so you know, you remember how um uh when the lockdown was happening? I guess there was a lady. I can't remember what her name was, but her her, her um. Uh, her man worked at like Trader Joe's and he said the whole aisle when everybody found out they like stock up on everything everything was gone in the, uh, except the vegan food all the meat was gone but all the vegan shit was there didn't nobody want that yeah cause that shit gonna go bad faster yeah, bro, than anything else <coughs> you know that stuff's bad for you they said what all the, all the oils and shit in it all the vegan stuff is terrible for you they said oils estrogen they said they gave it a rat and the, a bunch of the rats got like cancer and they died and they were so sick the yeah, rats didn't uh, even want to eat I it. Gave, I gave a rat <laughs> an impossible whopper for a month straight. It had you did? It had, it had triple E's at the end of the clinical drive. You what? Well, you, wait, 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 you didn't do this. Yeah, no, seriously. You got a rat? I gave a rat and a piece of the impossible whopper meat. But you doing and your own clinical every, studies? Every, every day for a month, and the rat had titties bigger than like I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you I'm, I'm, joking, I'm, joking. I'm gonna say you, you probably did. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get a rat? Estrogen, bro. Estrogen, estrogen. They just gave a rat huge titties. There's estrogen in Impossible. In Impossible Whoppers, yeah. Fuck ton of estrogen. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I didn't really get a rat and feed it an Impossible Whopper, but there is a fuck ton of estrogen in an Impossible Whopper. Damn, dude. I'm and if you eat a lot of them, you will become a woman if you're a man. Well, you won't become a woman, but you'll definitely have like like lower testosterone. I'm just going like to start looking for people that eat Impossible. I'm just going to sit there. You know what? I'm going to buy a whole bunch. I'm just going to hand them out. Just giving it to people for, for, like, Every day. for like a year straight. No, I just go out and find like a bum or something and be like, hey, bro, I'll give you a, a Impossible Whopper. Every day. He just, he just starts lactating within a month. That's terrible. I was <laughs> <laughs> Start drinking his own breast milk. <laughs> oh, I don't gotta stand on the corner no more. Ah, oh. nah, bro. I was. I don't give up money anymore, bro. Because if you're, if you could stand up and collect money, you could, you could stand up and get a job. I give them money if they got a good story. <clears throat> no, I don't care. There's no story you can tell me. If I gotta get up, you remember how we had some roommates that didn't want to work? Yeah. And they just, there. It, it, like it just hurts your soul. Yeah. Just and like, then, ah, ah man. Ah. But so, so now, if I see somebody out there. And they're collecting money, and they're able body, right? You think I want to give him money? I used to get money. One of pulled out a phone on me one time. That was the end of it. This and this guy was like, "Why are you giving him money? He's got a phone." I was like, "Oh shit!" Nah, I just give him money if like if it's a good joke or like a good story, then I feel like they they earned the dollar because nah. they made me chuckle. <clears throat> no, nah, like nah. it was just one sign I seen the dude was like, uh, he's like, uh, need money for karate lessons. My wife's been kidnapped by ninjas. And I was like, see, you put effort into I it. I was like, yo, here's here's some money because that made me laugh. And even if you're gonna go drink, like, I I lot, guess being homeless is better drunk. So. No, there's some guy was like, I just want to buy alcohol. Nah, I'll nah. give you money for that because you're being <laughs> honest. You're being honest, <laughs> man. But it's like that, that's probably how L.A. started. Just a bunch of homeless people. Nah, on the it beach. was a couple. It was a couple of them, and then they just went nuts. And then they saw hand out money. I bet you they don't even stand on corners out there because nobody wants to give them no money. There's, they got over 100,000 homeless people in Cali. Yeah, it's probably like just too much competition. 100,000? We have 400,000 people that live here in Lincoln. So 100,000, that means one in four people is a bum here if we had 100,000. Bro, that's too many. <laughs> that's way too many people that aren't working. Bro, I remember one time, <laughs> I don't know... Yeah, this this homeless guy wasn't even asking for money when I was in LA. Yeah, I was just I, I was walking out of the movie theater, 
and uh, a homeless guy just said, give me some money. <laughs> he didn't say, can I have some money? He said, give me some money. I looked at him. I just started brisk walking <laughs> fast as shit. <laughs> brisk walking. I was like, yo, did he? I was like, that guy was homeless, right? They're like, yeah. And I'm like, he didn't even say, please, bro. <laughs> he just said, give me some money. I was like, oh, oh shit. damn. I was like, that was attempted robbery, I think. All right, man. So, um, <laughs> well, I, I know Elon didn't rob Twitter, but he definitely bought it for like was it fifty billion dollars. But he he got um he got investments, so like bank he only had to get like seventeen billion dollars. So only he, seventeen billion dollars. Yeah, but to him, you know, but but he got banks. Uh, he, I know he got he went in with some banks, and he also went in with um. Oh, what the fuck conspiracy is behind <clears throat> that shit? Now? Well, I don't. Well, it's it's it, Twitter hasn't really been turning a profit at all because. I don't know what. Just, how will they turn a profit from advertisements? Or? Well, yeah, but um, they, well, they found out how they were living. So a bunch of the people at Twitter, it's literally this girl like explained her day, and all she did was go to one meeting, have but some bunch of wine, like over an eight nine hours spent. It's like you're just relaxing. She didn't do anything. Damn, I want that job. Exactly, that's an awesome job. But then Except I guess if you got a dry wine mouth all damn day. Nah, no, they they have wine on tap. You're fucking over there. No, they have wine. They have they have wine on tap, bro, and that's what she said. She's like, "Oh, you can have wine, whatever." She was talking. Where, like, where was the Twitter headquarters? New is it I Cali no, or New I, York? I have no idea. I have no idea. All I know is Elon walked in there. She probably shit her pants because Elon he, he he went in. He was uh, like, "Happy hours over, bitches." Bro, bro, he walked in with <laughs> he walked in with a kitchen sink or something. Oh, trying to clean this shit out. No, nah, I think he was like, um, uh, "Let that sink in," which I don't know. All he said was let that sink in. He walked in with his and said, let that sink in. He just walked in, slam it on the ground. <laughs> Sinkhole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, he walked in, let that sink in. And he, he fired the CEO. He fired like the financial department. He fired a lot of people. Right. And so. If I was lit and got fired by Elon, I'm okay. No, nah, nah, but you're, so not you're, 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 you're making it. No, nah, you're making a sick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Elon's like, yo, po- post up outside. I'm about to oh, fire yeah. a bunch of motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 Bro, he. he, he I like him because um, he's already he, he brung back he said he's gonna bring back Trump but Trump hasn't said anything yet. But the crazy thing is Trump well Trump said he wasn't gonna come back anyways a long time ago but now Elon is he said well you're free to come on here if you were banned before like he's gonna start like letting people out but he said this isn't like the wild wild west like you know you can't just do whatever you want just for advertising I think he's handling it correctly though because. I, w- I wouldn't want to get on there and see, like, you know, dead bodies and see a bunch of weird stuff. Oh, uh, no. Nah, Twitter got some dark, <laughs> deep, dark depths. Some dark places. You remember Hunter Moore from when we were freaking, what, in high school? No. The one that, that the dude that had the chicks draw, like, Hunter Moore on their booties and take pictures? No, I don't know that. Oh, is. yeah. That's when Twitter was the Wild West, bro. What, what I wasn't, I never really ventured off into the um to the realms of death. I didn't, I didn't bother. It to wasn't death, it was booty. Realm of booty. Bro. <laughs> Realm of booty. Well, I mean, I, I would see provocative pictures, but yeah, they legitimately had like porn on there. They still do. That's crazy that they like no Hunter Biden stuff, but the, you you can look at porn. Isn't that crazy? Like we don't want misinformation, but you can look at naked pictures. Well, yeah, ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with titties. There, I mean, there's nothing wrong, but <laughs> but if if you had a point of, I, it, it's 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 more a left. It's for left uh, left wing people. But so now Republicans, if you're like a Republican, like you really don't have a platform there. I don't think so. So now that oh yeah, you say anything, yeah, you gonna get it. <laughs> they, they 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 watching Republicans out there like, oh Trump, yeah, it's, you know, it's like why does it matter? They got uh re- Republican accounts, uh, yeah, the notifications on. Yeah, they got it as soon as they tweet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> outrage, outrage, outrage. Yeah, That's probably. what it is. It's that outrage code that just wants to get mad at anything. There are people that just watch it. They just watching Trump, bro. Like that's all they do. All they just watch him. You know, crazy, bro. Like, get a life, bro. Yeah, go to Taco Bell, get a Nacho Bell Grande, and keep it pushing. And it's just so much, bro. This it don't even matter. But I, I want to see what what's gonna happen to Twitter, the advertisers, because they're saying we're gonna leave. I, I I wouldn't even care, and I don't think Elon really does either. Yeah, he don't care. He don't give a shit, bro. He's too busy working on that cyber truck, still. bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> bro. That's crazy how that dropped the stock. I always felt like that looked staged almost. I don't know. I know. I thought it was ugly as fuck to begin with. Yeah, I didn't think it looked cool. It, you know, it looked cyberpunk, but it didn't look dope. Right? Like, I'll fucking put a machine gun on top of this bitch and go to Sonic. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot up Sonic. I'm just going to go to Sonic. <laughs> I'm going to get a large ocean <laughs> water. Yeah, well, that, I think that might be it, unless you have another topic. Uh, I want to talk about Forrest Gump. How iconic of a movie is that to you? Um, 
It was pretty. It was pretty. It was a pretty good movie. Was it racist? Uh, was it? I like. I watched it again, and I was like, "How do I feel about this?" Well, I mean, he had a black friend that died. Yeah, that died. Yeah, but it was. His and friend. then he took his shrimp boat and made a bunch of money off of it. And did he help his family? Yeah, he, yeah, he did. did. He, he did. did. Remember, he went to his mom's house and he gave him all that money. Okay, well, as long as he did that, <coughs> I must have blinked during that part. That must have. You did because remember he went. It's like Bubba's whatever. I don't know. That, that is. Uh, it's like a slave named Bubba. <laughs> nah, bro. I, I, I like I like I like Forrest Gump. I thought it was a really good movie, but I'm I am gonna I am gonna go watch that um from Hebrews Negroes. So, bro, honestly, watch. We're gonna watch it and we're gonna be like, there's nothing wrong with this. What the, what the what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. All right, yo. That is it for the eight. Unless you got something else. Nah, I'm good. I hey. just wanted to know your opinion on the gum shit. No, it, it was it was good, you know, because him and his boy. Remember, he like saved him in the military or something. No, or did he die in the military? He ended up dying when yeah, they he went died, over. Yeah, he died. He died, but he, he like he went back for him and everything. And uh, it, it was a cool movie. He, he was a, he was like the first like S I M P simp. Oh yeah, no. Nah, for that girl that was girl getting railed he, by was, the other guy. Didn't she have like AIDS or something too? I don't know, bro. I was pretty sure fun. she went and got like AIDS, and then they had a kid. And I'm yeah. like, does, does no, AIDS wait, not? Did, did they have no? I don't. Was, it wasn't his kid. Was it? I don't remember. Oh, they did. It wasn't his uh, kid. Was I don't it? remember, bro. I just know that she was playing with him, and he was just too nice of a guy. You I want I some did. chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. That's it for the Atypical Podcast. Thank you guys all, man, for tuning in. Peace. Um, yeah. If you guys um, want to check us out, we're on uh, YouTube, Atypical Podcast. We're also on Spotify and all the other, um, you know, pod and places that you can find us. And also follow us on Twitter. Thank you guys so much, man. We're out of here. Peace.